let's see. Okay, good afternoon and welcome to my daily chat, episode number 609. Um, topic today is, let's talk about Valentine's Day, because it's happening in two weeks. And I'll get to that in a moment. Let me choose myself first, then jump into the topic. And I trust this will be a broadcast that survives. I've had some internet issues today, um, not weather related, because we had a big storm come through early today, but definitely intermittent. So hopefully this will be a live broadcast that survives throughout so without getting cut off by some internet issue. So before I jump into the broadcast, let me choose myself. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help strong, successful women create and, sorry, excuse me, let me try it again. I help strong, successful, and high-achieving women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And it's inspired these talks I've done every day now for the last two plus years called Messages for the Masculine Inspiring a Feminine Heart. And today's topic, I should say today's episode is number 609. So I've done a few of these. And because Valentine's Day is two weeks away, dun, 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 I thought I'd talk about it today because it's one of those topics that I know it's funny because I'm really clear that it hasn't actually been on my radar much this year. I remember a few years ago, I did a countdown to Valentine's Day like for a month ahead. And I thought, well, let me talk about it. It's Valentine's Day is coming up. And for those of you who are attached to that ideal, I may burst your, I may burst your bubble. So let me talk about it a little bit. So Valentine's Day is, well, first of all, let me put it this way. Valentine's Day is a hallmark holiday. I said I burst your bubble, here's one of those things. St. Valentine's is not the same as Valentine's Day. Even though Valentine's Day is named after St. Valentine, his story was um, a lot more, you know, say a lot more bloody. <laughs> it wasn't a pretty story. So the little Cupid with the bows flinging arrows at people is really made up, doesn't exist, it's not real, sorry. Um, and to find your true love on Valentine's Day is what? Uh, okay, I'm going to talk about this for two angles. One, if you're in a relationship on Valentine's Day, and one, if you're single, hoping to find love on Valentine's Day. These are going to be cautionary tales. <laughs> so first of all, if you're looking for love and hoping they'll shop on Valentine's Day, no, let me go the other way around. Sorry, R rewind. If you're already in a relationship on Valentine's Day, there's a seeming pressure to deliver something on Valentine's Day which is more romance, more love than you do the rest of the year. There's something categorically wrong for that to that for me because it just doesn't sit right because the truth of the matter is if you're only going to be romantic on Valentine's Day the rest of the year is going to suck. You're in a, her a really terrible relationship. I should say you're not expressing very well in a very healthy way in a relationship which means it's terrible. So being in a romantic relationship on Valentine's Day can put a lot of pressure on you, which is not accurate. Hi, Carmela, and I see my broadcast. And by the way, this is Facebook Live. I'm doing this on first. It'll be on YouTube later on, so I'm interacting with people that you won't see if you're watching on YouTube. Um, and the thing about Valentine's Day is, again, it is a made-up holiday. It's a hallmark-created ability, uh, sorry, a hallmark-created event to sell merchandise, like chocolates, roses, many, many, many have Valentine's cards and all the gift wrap and pink and bows and all that sort of stuff. It's a nice gesture. However, for me personally, and I'm really clear about this, Valentine's Day as an idea is great. As an execution, it sucks because of the fact it puts undue pressure on relationships for one day a year. Because the thing is, if you really are loving your partner the rest of the time, why do you need to? Why do you need something different for Valentine's Day? And if you're not doing something for somebody and you have to do something special on Valentine's Day, you may want to look at that as your own experience in a relationship. So that's one piece. Now let me talk to the single people on Valentine's Day. For some people, Valentine's Day is one of these days that is. <laughs> I said a vision of the of the um, the bell tolling like. If you know if I love by Valentine's Day, you're screwed, sort of thing. But the thing with Valentine's Day, it, it is, again, purported as a divine day that you're supposed to be in love or have love or find love or attract love or whatever that is. Again, it is all Mark Holiday. It is a made-up thing. It's not real. 
So if you've got this thing about, I'm going to find a Valentine, find love by Valentine's Day, I'm going to meet somebody, knock somebody out, I'll give them some, some um, I'll find someone and give them a rose and hopefully they'll go out with me. Don't hold your breath. I'm sorry. <laughs> now I'm a romantic at heart, but I'm not willing to go with, along with the idea that Valentine's Day is so wonderful. It's one of the worst days. I'm actually, someone I know I posted about this. The... Uh, yes. It's one of the four, I just remember how many days it was, four worst days to propose on. Valentine's Day, your birthday, actually five, excuse me. Valentine's Day, your birthday, their birthday, that's the one I forgot, Christmas and New Year's. Those are the days you do, is, those are the worst days to propose on because there's so much weight on those days. And especially if you are going out with somebody for two months, say you met somebody at Christmas and Valentine's Day rolls around six weeks later and you decide you're going to Hmm. <laughs> You're going to propose on Valentine's Day because it's a special day? Very risky. Don't recommend it at all. In fact, I would say if you are in a relationship, I would ignore Valentine's Day as anything more than a chance to go out for dinner. Something nice, something fun. But ideally, you do that at least once a week, twice a week, three times a week anyway. So Valentine's Day doesn't make it special. Valentine's Day just gives you more opportunities for flowers and chocolates. <laughs> For the single people again out there, if you are somebody who's, in, who's looking for love and you want to find a relationship and you want to be in love by Valentine's Day or on Valentine's Day, frankly, um, I don't say this nicely, you're doing it the wrong way. Focus on what you want, not when you want it, because that's a mistaken approach. It's nice to set up goals that have, I won't say deadline, take that term, but they have these delivery dates on them supposedly and if you're looking to have a relationship or be dating somebody in the next two weeks because that's only two weeks away and you haven't done anything before that you are setting yourself up for failure because the odds are against you on that one now it can still happen however so often when you let go of it it can happen and for me I'm really clear that this conversation about relationship is something that is not time dependent not time of the year, not certain dates, not certain ages. Relationship is a choice that is made by people when they want to choose into it. And it does, as they say, require take two to tango. So having two people come together in relationship, that happens when it's meant to happen. But if, you do want, if you're trying to save up for a certain date, you're putting a lot of undue pressure on yourself and your partner, and I don't recommend that. So to be blunt and be clear again, I'm not a big fan of Valentine's Day as a special occasion because it's not a special occasion. Again, it is a made up holiday by Hallmark and other companies that want to make money on chocolates, Christmas, um, Christmas cards, chocolates, greeting cards, roses, um, lots of pink ribbons and expensive restaurant fees because that's the other thing, by the way, a lot of restaurants put their prices on Valentine's Day. Same as they do in other times of the year that's special. So it's stacked against you. And frankly, I would rather, if you're looking to do that, set up the time when you go up with somebody. Ah, if you're in a relationship, and you're not married. Because the thing about being in a relationship when you're not married, you don't have anniversary dates as specific as when you are married because the anniversary date then is the anniversary of your marriage, your wedding. But if you're going out with somebody, why not make milestones, celebratory moments after we're going out with each other for a month or six months or a night or a year or do those things because those can be much more romantic, much more aligned to you because it's your own personal experience and independent Valentine's Day. Now, if you want to do your shopping for great, wonderful, romantic greeting cards on Valentine's Day, or before that, and then use them different parts of the different times of the year, go for it. But again, Valentine's Day itself as a single day is a, well, <laughs> I was going to say it's about as valid as President's Day. It doesn't have any validity as a transformational experiential holiday. It's just simply a marker on the calendar that was set up by some people who want to make some money. Yeah, Valentine's Day. <laughs> In my line of work, it's one of those days that is a, um, I want to say challenging, but an, in an inconvenient time because my work about help people, help people find love is all around the year. And people look at pressure on Valentine's Day about finding it and having it happen. My work is to disavow them of that feeling because Valentine's Day, again, doesn't have any import. Your choice of relationship, your choice to be in relationship, should come from where your heart li lies and from where your heart lies with somebody else then on a particular date. I think I made my point. 
some reach seems any awesome has come through on this one. And by the way, if you have any comments or questions, you please put them in, in below and I will respond when I sign off. Or if you're interacting with me live, I can talk to you then. Again, if you're on YouTube, you can respond below um, in the comments. So one thing I want to say, um, if you're single, and I was just talking about this with a friend of mine a bit earlier today. Um, she's in a place where she's having challenges with finding a relationship that will honor her for who she is. And I said the challenge with that is, is that you gotta start with yourself. And she was realizing more and more that she needs to love herself more so that she's not out there looking for some man to love her to make her feel worthy and deserving and beautiful and all these different things. This is relevant to Valentine's Day because some people, some women out there especially are hoping that man's gonna show up and go, knock, knock, knock. You're amazing, you're wonderful, and you're beautiful, I'm gonna go out with you. It's not, again, it's not an ideal method, but the thing I keep coming back to more and more is the reason why I have, I have amongst other things that I offer, I have a self-love, med guided, med guided self-love meditation practice that I do offer on my website, and I'll put the link in the comments, is because so many people are looking for love out there, and with Valentine's Day, it's even more pressure to find that love out there, need it, need it now, make it happen, and everything else. Whereas self-love as an internal practice, as an internal fuel source, puts you in a place where you don't need to keep looking out there to find fulfillment, because it isn't out there anyway. Fulfillment is totally inside, it's an inside job, as they say. As I say. So if you're looking for love in all the wrong places, it does start within. And so my self lover I recommend my self love practice because it's a simple practice you can do that will change your relationship with yourself and one change your relationship with everybody else and make it more attractive to the relationship you want to have. And it works for men and women, by the way. That's one thing. I'm just thinking I'm to be honest, I'm looking at how I can plug my own stuff in in this broadcast, just so you know I'm I'm looking if I want to market stuff. That's the one thing I want to talk about in this broadcast. If you are someone who's looking for love in all the wrong places, I will put the link in the comments for my discovery session so you can have a chat with me because if you're stuck and you're not sure where to go, let's have a conversation. I can help you with that. I think that's about it. It was just, a, I wanted to vent a little bit about Valentine's Day and put some thoughts out there because frankly, as you may have already guessed by now, I'm not a big fan of the day as it stands because it really is artificial. And for me, love, relationship, connection, intimacy, none of that's artificial. It's true, authentic, connected, deep, rich, and abundant. And that's how love should be. And if you have any problems that aren't matching up with that, let's talk. So with that, thank you for watching. I'm gonna give you replay links for the broadcast you know where to find me. If you haven't seen me my broadcast before, they are always at 5 p.m. Pacific time on Facebook Live on, Facebook Live on my personal page. And that's at facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. I was gonna say sometimes they're later, but usually 5 p.m. Pacific time, because that's the easiest time for me to do it in the day. It fits my schedule. If you wanna see the replays of all my other broadcasts, I have them on my business page on Facebook and on YouTube, and I'll get to that in a moment. Um, that's at facebook.com forward slash barryselby.author. You find all my replays on my page there. The reason I say it's there is because they're less interrupted by other things on that page. On my personal page, I post other stuff as well, so you can hard to find them. Second place you can find them, the replays is on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, and the playlist is called Messages from the Masculine. I believe you can find me under uh, youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Barry Selby. And you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and download or watch my videos rather on uh, Messages from the Masculine. And thirdly, I have a podcast that's growing with some of the replays from my uh, Facebook Lives. And that on iTunes is Messages from the Masculine. Please subscribe to me, my podcast as well, and you can download the audio versions of these if you want to listen to them when you're driving around or doing other things. I think that's really about it. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below and respond when I sign off. I'll put links in the comments for my self-love practice and for the discovery session if you want to reach out for support in the areas of love and relationships. And with that, I thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time. And as Valentine's Day approaches, if you have any thoughts about that, let's see comments in the, uh, let's see thoughts in the comments below. And uh, with that, I thank you for watching. I appreciate you watching and enjoying my talks, hopefully. And I invite you to take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. Bye.